All right, hello everyone, Busy Gamer Dad back again for our third and final session gameplay series here for Spell Rogue. Session gameplay series are games where we cover three episodes for the Busy Gamer on a game that I think you guys might like to sit down with, something that's up and coming, something you need a little bit more information on. This week, Spell Rogue has been great to us. It's been a lot of fun. You can definitely see the uh, Slay the Spire influences, the Six-Sided Oracle uh, uh, influences, and you'll see what I'm talking about as we get into the game. I'm going to bring you in mid-run. This is a continuation of our second session uh, episode playthrough. So we got a little bit of a scuffing. I'm not going to lie. This has been a little rough for us. Um, we just defeated the first boss. There are two levels in the demo. I will have a link for the game down for you guys to take a look at if you want to pick it up. This right here, the Hydra, is not the boss that I actually fought when I came through the first time. I fought um, two twin elementals, which was a lot of fun. Uh, so it does look like there's some variability in the bosses. I hope we can get there and see what he's all about. Our spells are a little bit wonky. I'm not a super big fan of this guy. He's not really doing what I would like him to do. And we get way more block for less dice roll value over on this side of the board. So I'm hesitant to see what, uh, what would really help us in that regard. This one looks like it would lock it into only a six would go in there, which is counterintuitive for this guy right here i'm the poisons have been good to us is all i'm gonna say poison has been really good to us this aoe might be really helpful for um just dropping any number as opposed to one through four that way i can do 12 damage to creatures as opposed to um just the eight damage max i think i'm gonna do that we do get other uh shards later in the the level um you get the shards from Oh, uh, where are they at? Oh, there are none here. Oh, okay. Well, there are typically nodes on the map where you can pick up shards. I should have paid attention to that. Yet again, not looking at what the, the board offered. But we can get a relic this time. Uh, I am going to go for the healing. I'm not going to take the elite fights. Looks like I, I do want to go to the shop, though. I kind of have to go down. Yeah, I think I'm going to go this way and take the long road to get to the shop. Because then we'll have a little bit more money. Okay, cool. That's our path forward. Let's get to it. You ready for our dad joke? I am not. One sec. All right. Here's our dad joke. What do you do to prevent dry skin? Use a towel. I don't know why that's a dad joke, but that's a dad joke. Alrighty. So we have uh, an artifact here that gives us an odd roll dice. That should be really helpful. Um, this one can become a six. These threes and fours can become that. He, we don't know what they're doing. He's a leader. You look interesting with your armor set. Um, you're going to hit for that much though. I think I'm actually going to, because if I drop all three of these, I get two dice back. Let's try that. One, two, and, oh no, I'm sorry. I forgot about that. I have my free spell, so right here, and then I'll do this. I'll get another dice back. So I have 24, so take that, and that's not going to help me. Darn it. Um, well, let's do this and this, and let's see what this ability is. So 15 damage. Now I wish I had that extra dice roll. Oh, well. All right, let's see here. Um... Do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? I can do the one, and I can do five damage. Six, I can do a lot more long-term damage. And that's pretty good. I don't have a way of mitigating any more of it, though, which is unfortunate. But if I drop this lower, right here, and I actually drop all three die into this, that will save us a bit of a beating. And then this will turn into six. And if I do this here, it'll apply one poison to both of them and do a little bit of damage. And then we'll still take a, a fair amount of damage, 15 and 12. Yeah, we're still gonna, the enemies just hit so much harder in the second level. Just so much harder. Almost unfair. All right, so we got an extra dice roll don't know what they're doing i can change the two into a five 
and I can hit them both here with a fair amount of damage again. And then that spends that. And then I could, yeah, let's do, as silly as it is, we're gonna drop that onto you. And I will reroll this die into a two. And then I will drop that there and finish this guy off and he'll die on our turn. He should die on our turn anyways. Yes, kill and that other guy will take a fair bit of damage from the poison. And now I'm marked, those are snared. That's fine. I don't mind that at all because you are going to die this round. Because I say so. So if I do this to you here, it'll apply a poison. And then if I do this to you here, that'll apply another poison and you will be dead next round, right? Yes, you are. Good. Awesome. Great. I think I'm getting a good hang of our spells and what we got going for our RNG. We do have this mutation going on where if we take a new spell, we gain, we lose one max health. It's not been helpful to us is all I'm going to simply say. It has not been helpful. This, on the other hand, could be very helpful. The weakness is potentially really helpful. Hold the die until next town. Uh, I think I'm actually going to take this one. And we're going to lose one max health, which is unfortunate. And I think I'm going to swap that out with you. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, let's take another fight. Let's keep on moving. Oh, barbed grubs. You look terrifying. You look like something right out of Dune. All right, so we got an extra bonus die. Five and five. So if I... I do have Concoction right now, which is a free spell cast. But unfortunately, it's not going to do... Well, if I do one damage to everybody, it'll also do poison. And they don't have anything going right now. But here's the cool thing. If I do this, instead of one damage to everybody... There. So now... I can still use that conversion if I want to one more time. Yeah, okay. I'm getting the hang of it. I'm getting the hang of it. Now we're not going to be able to... I don't think we'll be able to... No, we will. Yeah, actually, we'll be able to do this. Because if I do this guy right here and that guy right there, it'll apply weakness to all of them, doing less damage, and we should be good with our armor. Nice. Good, yeah, that's already, this card is already playing, paying for itself. It really is. Playing for itself. It's already playing for itself literally as well. So this one has barbs for three turns. I don't like that. I don't know how we're going to get around that. I'm almost like I need to focus fire this guy down. So I'll change that to a six. And can I finish this guy off? How can I finish that guy off? I don't think I have a way of finishing them off. I could... Nope, there's no, there's no way to finish any of these off. So, the best course of action for me right now is actually to apply weakness on them. And then... Take a shield, is what I would do. I would have to reroll this down to a three. Take a shield... So let me do that. Take a shield of six, and then applies three weakness, two and two. So if I do this, and this, and then weakness on all of them, I don't take any damage. And we'll block that, and we'll block that. Awesome, that worked out really well. So it looks like, unfortunately, three, so I have to have my block up before. Interesting. So I'm gonna try that, see if that works. First, I'm going to put that out here. I'm going to drop this down here again. Right there. So I have 12. And then I'm going to hit them all. Let's see what happens. I'm not certain this is going to do what I think it's going to do. Yeah, see, three damage. Yep, okay. So that's it. kind of what I expected to happen. The barbs came up and hit me. And I'm going to take another hit unfortunately I just have no way of doing it I could do another I could do the spell echo and could have done it again now this will be interesting this will be a good uh, uh, we'll say test of the system 
because if I bring this to four, how can I do this? If I drop this down to, to two, if I gain block, and there's no way, th I wish this thorns fell off. That doesn't seem very, I don't want to say balanced, but it doesn't seem like it's equal. So thorns OP is what I'm going to say right now. Uh, I'm only taking five damage, but I'll kill you. And then I'll take that there. So now he does six, but the thorns didn't retaliate, which is good to know. So if I do this right here, you should all die. No, okay, so the thorns does retaliate. Even if you do that, okay, well, I just got my head hurt a little bit. Add two to the dice roll, what is this? There's the hailstorm. Not that that's gonna help us, because I'm already pretty hurt. Uh, gain one hailstorm. Gain ice fury when rolling dice increases. Uh, let's try it. I mean, we need it. And then uh, let's get a heal going. I could spend 25. Or no, yeah, I need to spend none, honestly. There. Okay, and do I want to sacrifice two spells to gain when rolling twos? That's not a bad idea. What one do I want to get rid of, though? You? And you? Sure. Let's try it out. And now we got an artifact that allows us to heal. And I will drop this into our spot right there. And let's get this relic. Now that could be... Let's see. Add one charge to a target spell. Okay. So if we can do that. Spell echo gain. Cast the same spell twice. Next spell cast. I don't know how we accomplish that. Add three to all dice values. Wow. Okay. Maxing at six. I have a question about that. Uh, let's do the echo though, because I think the that would be really good. Let's take the non-elite fight. As much as I would love to show you the content, I want to try and get to the um, the Hydra to show you that. So every round this charges. Okay. Good to know. Three damage coming out. Power trap. Yep. That's gonna really suck. Um, how can I do this that's effective in a way that makes sense? So if I change this to five, so that was my concoction. So if I do this and do this, that'll hit them for some good damage and then reroll a die. So. I don't want to use my six on that, but I might have to. Let's do. Let's change this to a four. Let's see what this does. Oh, interesting! And I got a. I should have done that. Okay, so now I know. That's actually a really nice spell to have in my back pocket. Good to know. Uh, I can apply poison, or I can gain some armor. I think I need to gain some armor. So there and well I'm already blocking the damage so let's get that started here in case I want to use that yeah block the damage now power trap is gonna really suck if I get those and it looks like it did got the f got the two okay so if I change you to a three. No, this goes to a five. Is that gonna plus one damage? Five, eleven. That's not gonna be enough to finish that guy off. So let's well let's change this to a five. Actually, let's do it. Let's do that. There and there. Because it adds the poison. And then We gain three block or we gain six block. But I can't do anything with it. So if I do the spell echo now, 
I had to do it before. Ah, shoot. I was cur I was just curious to see how it works. All right, so now I don't have a focus fire, so unfortunately I am going to take this one on the chin. Yep, so I rerolled a four and a two, and they got even stronger, which is not good. And then if I change this... No, I don't need to change that. I don't want to change that, because that'll go to a five, and I won't be able to use that here. So if I do that... And then if I do this and drop that there, you should die. And then I'll only have the 18 damage to worry about. And then this, uh, we did use this, um, this Sleet Sky for bonus damage there, which isn't terrible. Uh, we might as well use this because we can do one and two. And we just got bonus six die right there. Hitting him for 12. And now I have no way of actually doing damage to you, which is a little bit unfortunate. So we'll reroll the die for three. Okay. And then we'll just armor up for these. And we'll use all this charge and get another two die. Getting way more dice rolls than I did before, which is actually kind of awesome. Uh, not. No, I do have enough for that. I do absolutely have enough for this. So if I do this. And I do this, apply that to you, there. I could have potentially gotten another six armor and mitigated the damage, but oh well. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I didn't realize that. So there's a lot of ebb and flow in the game that I'm just not really familiar with, and that's what the meta knowledge comes into. Cool. All right, so if I hit you for this and this... And you take the poison, and then you're not actually doing anything terrible, but at the same time, I'm going to do that. I should have rolled that before. Uh, we gain one health, though. Um, let's see here. Do I roll another two? No, I flipped it. And then I can apply a weakness to you, which isn't really going to tell... Uh, oh, I, the, on depletion. Never mind. Silent Traps are going to block some of my spells if I roll, or block some of my die if I roll a six, and I did not, which is great. And do I have enough to finish you? Eight, nine, no. Fives turn, or threes turn into fours. Not super helpful. Unless I do this, I drop you there. Reroll the two. Okay, that's fine. And. I'm actually going to lean into blocking, because if I drop this here, then I do this. Let's see, do we get the six? Oh, they're silenced, though, so I can't use them. So it mutes that spell, but we got it. Okay, cool. So it's only if I use those die. Good, but we got it. Nice. Let's see what spells we actually happen to get. Receive poison. Roll three die, receive poison. Or roll two dice, receive poison. Don't like that. Deal six damage two times. Decrease damage of this by spell by two this combat. Deal six damage to... Okay. Interesting. Engulf. What are our other spells right now? We're kind of locked into these ones. I don't have another focus spell, which is kind of good. One sec. Busy life. Busy gamer. All right. So, yeah, you can... Oh, you get to see the buffs, the, uh, the upgrades. Gotcha. Well, we won't have that ability, unfortunately, presented to us. We can reroll this if we want to, but there is a shop coming up where we can get new spells in general. Um, let's uh, let's leave that. Let's leave it. Let's take the shop here. Damage, uh, weakness, all enemies. Don't have enough for an artifact, which is unfortunate. I can sell some things, though. Can I sell you? No, I, I have to sell a spell. I can only sell spells. Hmm, bit of a bummer. Deal 15 damage. Split target dice into two. 
Okay. Or rupture. Doesn't look... Uh, it's just like a few bucks short. Um, let's get the armor. I mean, we might as well. And then let's take the non-elite fight, because like I said, I'm trying to get to the uh, boss. So you guys can say, wow, you look crazy cool. Applying two silence, that's not cool, though. You're not cool. Oh, you're a jerk. All right, so if I do this, I'll get three uses out of that right now. And then I will apply this and that. There's that to that. Right. Awesome. Oh, I should have done this. I didn't do it. And I should have done it. Darn it. People in chat are going to be flaming me for that. I guarantee it. Um, I could apply weakness three so I don't take any damage. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. There and there. Flip that to four. And do that. And then everyone gets weakness. No damage going out. But I will get silenced. Yep, Imp Hatchling does power, so he's going to get plus three to his attack, and he's going to gain more power, question mark, and silence on the two die. Am I able to re-roll them? That is an interesting question to ask right now. Let's see. And it muted that card. Oh, okay. All right, so I can spread the mute around if I need to. That's kind of a jerk thing to do. I'm not going to lie. That really kind of is. Uh, apply three weakness, three armor. I think this is what I'm going to go with right there. And then I kind of have to do this. No, I can't do that one. I have to do this one. So I reduce the amount of damage I'm taking. And everything is fine. And I'm not going to use that because I do not want to silence any more of my spells. All right, let's see. So I don't have a reroll mechanic this time around unless I use this guy up. Which is what it looks like I'm going to have to do. So if I roll that into there. Do I get a six? I did get a six. So let me use this echo ability. Nice. That worked out really well for me. That worked out really well for me, focusing on that. Because now we got the spell echo, and it's just it did a whole heap of damage out. And then... That's it. That's... That's all I'm going to do, because you're going to do 16, but I have 18 shield. I love the animations that they did for this. That's, that's pretty good. Uh, curse. That rolled that down just one, unfortunately. Um, but these will turn into sixes, and we'll be able to win anyways. Right here and right here. Bam. Good stuff. That echo came in really handy right there. Spell echo. Mmm. I think I'm going to just use that one. Can't be used outside of combat. I think I'm going to throw this away because this spell echo is probably going to be super helpful. Uh, have to drop a six. None of these are like... Oh, this one's pretty good. Odd die, deal damage. What's my spells right now? What one haven't I been using? I've been kind of leaning on them all, actually. Except for this one. Hmm. Yeah, I don't... So at most it's going to do 10 damage, apply 2 plus 1 each time. So apply 4 poison. Foresight. Next roll, plus one die. Gain four block, foresight. I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it where it's at, because I don't want to go into this any lower than I am already at. Especially since I'm going to spend the money, and I'm going to heal up to full. And dodge, glimpse. I don't want to... I don't want to discard any cards. I don't have anything to discard. Yeah, so let's see what this Hydra's about. If this goes horribly, 
Oh, wow. Only one head came down. The green Hydra head. And there's a body that has a thousand health. A thousand. Oh, my goodness. Oh, re lose 200 and regrow a head. Whew. All right, so if I focus fire on just this, it's not going to do any... Like, why would I not do that? I have questions. All right, so... First things first. With this build, I can reduce the amount of damage going out. So if I swap this right there and right here, and then reduce that, reduce that, so weakness to everything. So there, that takes care of that. This changes into a five. And then if I hit you both, do I wanna do that? Or do I wanna poison you? Well, let's see what happens. Let's do the wave. It's gonna apply a poison anyways. The pox is really what I'm concerned about because this building up over time is what's going to kill me. Because that's an automatic um, 10 damage. So it's only if I actually get hit by it. So he's empowering a random enemy, a random, random, applying random uh, power to an ally. Because that's what that little pip means. Okay. Uh, let's change this. So honestly, I should be leaning into. Oh, no, this isn't really... I don't know if I'm going to be able to do what I want to do. Because he's going to do 14 damage. I can block... Only a... F 12. So if I do... 1... 2, and then apply weakness. So now he's only doing... 8 damage. And then heal... Or hit that, and then, yeah, won't get he won't get through. Cool. War of Attrition. We got to play the long game. We got to play the long game. All right, use the spell echo. We get into dice roll. Okay. Uh, I can change this to a four. He's doing 14. Apply weakness, which will take three off of that. Oh, man. If I only had more dice rolls, this would be so much easier. Uh... I could drop this one down to three. Swap in this right here. Get two free die, get a heal. That's fine. And that's not going to help me. All right, so there. If I build up myself, six, awesome. And then if I use the spell echo... Right here. Nice. There's that. And then do it twice. Good stuff. And then just drop that into the poison. And then drop the poison on him. Wow, this is intense. Alright, I'm going to call this episode here. Busy Gamer Dad showing you Spell Rogue. The ins and outs of this game. There's quite a bit going on. I like it. It's I like the uh, design of it. I like the uh, spells that they have. I like the dice rolling. I like the thinking of it. This is good for a busy gamer just to sit down with and veg after they get through the meta knowledge of the game. I really think this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I will have a link for the game if you want to try the demo out for yourself. We'll catch you in our next session gameplay where we'll take another look at a game that I think would be really great to sit down and play for the busy gamer. Later.